Good morning, anime rhinos. It is assistant principal, Mr. Thomas Tao here, ending your week with Fantastic Friday. Rhinos, happy last day of school. Some of you might be super happy that today is here. Some of you might be acting cool with your shades on, ready for summer. Some of you might be feeling an emotion such as being sad that you might not be able to see your friends after this for the summer. And some of you might just be feeling silly or some of you are starting to celebrate the last day here with your friends, with your teachers and with your community. Whichever emotion that you're feeling right now, I want you to know that it is okay to feel those emotions and that those emotions are valid on this final day together with all of us here at school. But I want us to spend some time reviewing the celebrations, the accomplishments, and the amazing thing that you all were able to do this year. So we're gonna do a year in review the Rhino way. Rhino begins with R and R is respect. And so this year we saw how all of you showed up with this core value of respect. We saw scholars learning respectfully online in a new format that you haven't done quite yet. And you all were respectful as we learned how to do our learning differently. When you were asked to come into the building, you all showed your immense respect to the social distancing that we all had to do. So you can see first graders sitting within their boxes to make sure that they were keeping everyone in their classrooms safe. And when you did get to get close to one another, you used some really precautionary actions to make sure that you were keeping you and your partner safe as our friends here were doing in this activity. H is help others. What a time for all of us to be helping each other. And I saw each and every single one of you show up with this core value of helping others. We saw a group of middle schoolers helping each other out by doing a skit for one of their projects in class. We saw some of our scholars doing turn and talks and helping each other solve problems and equations. We also saw scholars work in small groups to make sure that they can help and support one another to achieving their problems. Despite the many challenges this year, you all showed up for each other and helped one another. I is for inspire. We know that we have some amazing teachers here who inspire us each and every single day. So give them some thank you as you head out today. N was never give up. Despite the many challenges of distance learning of this pandemic, you all never gave up. Even when it was distance learning, you all continue to show up every single day. You saw the immense joy and proud of having 100% of cameras on. We see our third graders learning about math and bringing joy to their classrooms. And we even saw our gym classes continue as, as normal as possible during this time. And O was overcome. We saw so many challenges this year and you all stepped up and rose to the occasion and were able to overcome many of these challenges. We saw our fifth graders come into the classrooms and were successful right away. We also saw our middle schoolers come into this class and were able to be successful as well. But really, I wanted to highlight some folks that really inspired me today. And it was our eighth graders. Our eighth graders overcome a very challenging time and celebrated and took this moment with joy. We got the opportunity to celebrate our eighth graders yesterday and their time here as their time here at anime comes to a close. We know that once you're a rhino, you're always a rhino. So wish a happy congratulations to all of our eighth graders as they embark on their next journey. 
But I want you to hear, not just from me, about how you all overcome, but from one of your very own peers. Um, Miss Amy is going to share with you how she has overcome some of her goals throughout her time here at New Millennium Academy. Hello, my name is Amy and I have something to share with everyone. So over the years at school, I've been always known as a quiet kid because I really didn't know how to communicate well with people. That was like a huge struggle of mine and I never decided to improve on it. So I could never like properly say something to people I'm not used to or like teachers. And whenever someone would ask me a question, I would just freeze, not say anything because my brain, my thought process is like, oh no, you have to speak. So I just like stand still and stare at them because I don't really know what to say because I didn't know how to communicate well back then. But now I feel like I've gotten better at communicating. Like um, I found a group of friends and I'm communicating more with people, grown-ups, teachers, being more open about my feelings because I used to be a person who didn't share their thoughts and um, kept to themselves a lot. So I'm very happy that I'm able to improve on those things. And I regret not being open about stuff earlier because um, it would have changed so much for me. So grateful for everything. Our friend Amy exhibits the rhino way. She showed respect at her time here at New Millennium Academy. She was helping others and allowing others to help her. She inspired me by sharing her stories with just not me, but with all of you. She never gave up, even when communicating was hard, and she was able to overcome the challenges that she was facing. So Rhinos, I want you to think about this. Together, we are Rhino Strong. Know that we got your backs here. And if you're leaving us, congratulations. And we can't wait to see the amazing things that you'll do beyond our school. But I want to talk as we end the school year about this word gratitude. Now, what is gratitude? Gratitude is the quality of being thankful and appreciating what you've been given. And so like, why does gratitude matter? It matters because grateful people are happier and more fulfilled. That when you express gratitude, it strengthens your relationships with others and that it leads you to be a nicer human being, which is what we want all of you to be when you leave us here. So I want us to think about this quote, look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. So I want you right now to give yourself some gratitude, a pat on the back, or as, as, as our kinders would say, a kiss on your head, because all the learning that you've done this year, all the growth that you've made this year I want you to celebrate that and give yourself some gratitude for the work that you've been doing this past year. But as always, before you end, I want you to do some things with your classmates or with yourself. I want you to talk about three good things that has happened throughout this year. I'll say that one more time. Before we end today with your classmates, with your friends, or in a journal or writing, I want you to talk about or write about three good things that happened to you all. I'll start. One good thing that I'm grateful for is to meet all of the amazing scholars that I have the privilege of working since I joined New Millennium Academy. The second thing that I'm grateful for is that I get to work with amazing teachers and staff members here at New Millennium Academy. And lastly, the third thing that I'm grateful for is that I got to see some amazing students this week. So scholars, have these conversations with your classmates and share three good things. Happy Fridays, Rhino, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>